Hey, what's up? Uh, a friend just uh, gave me an email, and uh, he was he was worried that the video he made, you know, perhaps he didn't like it, or he, you know, he was talking about Ron Paul and how Ron Paul won't address 9/11. Uh, you know, I made a while back. I made a video, you know, Ron Paul for president, you know, with a big question mark. Uh, they're all one party. This is all a big game. It's all bullshit. It's totally, uh, you know, the great stage. You know, this, that, it's, 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 it's all strategically done. So I wanted to, I, I personally was about to make a video about uh, the NFL and the opening game of the Saints in Green Bay. Uh, last year I knew that the Green Bay would win because not that he's not a great quarterback and he has a great team, but he's Aaron, which is, you know, the other prophet or, or uh, anointed one of God with Moses and uh, he's number 12 so he's you know the 12 zodiac um, but Kid Rock was up there and he's singing you know this this really American song and they're waving the flags they're taking away everything and you people are like fucking total drones excuse the F word but we're all droning out while they're taking all our civil liberties okay uh, they got a bill passing that we won't even be able to grow vegetables soon. You know, Monsanto isn't interested in that bill, but lo and behold, you know, one of their, uh, you know, higher up CEO, I'm not sure, uh, just got appointed to our agricultural department of the uh, United States through Obama. You need to wake up. The Lindsay Report, I hope you saw my last two videos about the Lindsay Report. I put the documentary out. It is utterly, utterly terrifying. Uh, the, the facets, we're, we're looking at a diamond that is no longer rough. It's been chipped away and the many, many facets are available for you to look at. This is a, a game of chess, not checkers. And you, you need to get into this game because we need to stop what is happening. Lady Liberty doesn't dock on the shores. She's offshore, okay, over there in the Empire State. Okay, she's not on this shore. She's moving on. She's going to go to China. Okay, the, the great experiment was China, not the liberty of the United States. They've taken our country over legally. And in certain aspects, I have to, have to respect them because they're diligent. They do their work. And everybody else kind of just walks around in a haze. Perfect example. Okay, if I was a police officer... Okay, I, I watched shit like a hundred traffic violations today. Easy. People uh, just, just don't watch the people think now. I can see everybody's process of thoughts totally slowing down. Okay, people are literally, uh, you know, they're going to make a left, but they're in the right lane. They'll wait till the last second. They'll jerk. They'll stop. They'll jerk. They'll literally stop sit, I guess I should do it now, and shoot over. It's like, it's like our thought process as Americans is just like, a, I feel like some, there's a little guy in your head and he's about to pull the emergency brake that you're that bad. So as Americans, we need to wake up to be civil, to be part of the community. I mean, it's, it's, it's an old story that I'm telling you, but it's, it's the only story that's going to work for us. We need to stop people from being knuckleheads. Okay, it's illegal in Los Angeles to text while you drive. So now I got people that are holding the they're holding the phone lower, but their eyes, you know, they're driving and they're not even looking up. Okay, I literally, literally, literally today had somebody driving. They stopped in the middle of the road. They took a, a drove a foot, stopped, went to go right. Then went left. I mean, it was just like, can we have a little bit of cohesive thought? Can we, can we, can we look a block ahead? Can we think a week ahead? Can we think about everybody else? Okay, doesn't matter about 9/11 if they can't even think about a block ahead. If they can't even get their their cell phones out of their hands. Listen, there's been there's been at least two reports that have come out. That, that brain tumors are, are vastly um, 
uh, expanding within you know the yearly coverage of whatever. I mean, I, I, that was pretty bad, but. Okay, the reports come out, dude. You cannot have a child. If you have a child, he, he or she cannot be near a cell phone. Okay, it goes right through their whole head. That doesn't even, we're, let's not even worry about going down the freeway with every fucking uh, transmit, you know, transmitter. There's so many transmitters along our freeways. These things are all been incorporated to change who you are and limit how long you live. That we're not, we won't even go into the radiated food, the dead enzymes, all these other things. It's time for you to wake up and make a change. We don't have a lot of time, man. It's time. It is time. I don't want to hear your sob stories. I don't want to hear about it was better in the past. I don't care. It is tomorrow. It is for tomorrow and for your, your will to, and your love. Love is not weak, it's, it's, it's meek, but it's strong. What will you do for everybody else tomorrow? Time is short and your life is at hand. Soon you'll grow old, you'll be wrinkled, your back will hurt. What are you going to do with your life? Are you just going to settle for today? Or are you going to really uh, do what I've done and, and take a look at the definition of vision, of willpower, and of love. This is Covenant of Love. And I hope you're having a wonderful evening. And uh, I hope to see you all on the other side.